Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my July melting basket already to go. Um, it's, it's a big one. It's a lot of like smaller pieces this month that I wanted to try to kind of get through. So I really went through some of like my scent shots and some of my um, smaller shapes and my samples that have just kind of been piling up. And so those are most I think of what I want to get through this month so it's pretty filled to the brim so I'm just gonna go through the heavy what I'm gonna melt this month um I think most of the scents too that I'm gonna work on this month are pretty new to me I haven't tried them yet so far so I'm really excited to to try them so there are a couple bags as well. The first one is from L3. It's a snorkel butch drive me nuts. Really cute. It's a big bag of shapes. I forget what she calls these, but um, that one I have tried once and I really enjoyed it. It's a nice summery scent, so I'm gonna work on that one. Um, next is one of my customs from Savannah Blue. It is saltwater taffy, salty sea air, and watermelon. Another one that's really nice and fresh and fruity for summer. Um, the next one is a loaf from Salt Mountain. It's I Just Can't Copacabana with tangerine gelato, coconut cream pie, and birthday cake. It's a super pretty color, super cute name. Um, and this one I've tried before as well and I enjoy it. And then I've got a loaf from VCS and Backwoods Barbie. This is Satsuma Strawberry and Cotton Candy. I have yet to try that one, but it smells really nice, so I'm really excited about that one. And now I've got my, those are, those are like the big, the big bags. I've got a bag of Mario Mini Melters from Rose Girls. This is game over. Um, I don't remember what the notes are in this, but it's super, super fruity um i want to say there's raspberry but i could totally be making that up but <laughs> very fruity really bright um again another nice fresh summer scent um i have keep cod from vcs this is salty sea spray sea sea weather driftwood and water lily this one's really pretty um, I like don't even know where to tackle this bag from first. Oh, Sassy Girl Aroma Coffee Crunch Bars. I got this in a D stash. This has Snickers Coffee, Snickers Coffee House Sugar Cookie. Um, and another one from that same D stash, Fruit Loops in the Kitchen. This has Fruit Loops Marshmallow uh, Cookies, Birthday Cake Twinkies, and Vanilla Fudge Butter. Um, I have a couple pieces from Rainbow Melts. Watermelon, cotton candy, and marshmallow. This was from, I think, her most recent pre-order. I think it was the most recent one. Um, this was one of those, like, daisy shapes that I just chopped into four pieces. And then the same with this one, sun-drenched apricot rose, juicy apricots, and soft rose petals. Um, a couple from Teddy Bees as well. Um, this basket, this melting basket that I have right now is completely disorganized. So I feel like I can't even like see the bottom of it and I'm just kind of picking things out at random. So if they start to not make sense with the order I'm showing them, sorry. <laughs> this is Teddy Bees Coffee Bean All Mode. It has coffee bean ice cream, vanilla waffle cone, whipped cream and caramel. This is so good. Um, people in the group described it as smelling like coffee ice cream, so that sounded good to me. So I tried that one, and it's really good. And then also from Teddy Bee's Pineapple Upside Down Cake. So pineapples, brown sugar, vanilla, fluffy white cake, confectioner sugar, cherry, and a hint of coconut. This one is so, so good. I don't really want to go through it, but I also, like, I'm trying not to things as much anymore it's a habit I'm trying to break um, some scent shots 
from VCS, just seen in the rain, which is just a fresh rain scent. Oh, it's super nice. Um, a couple from Midnight Daydream. I have Frappe Grande, which is white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, espresso, cotton candy, and crunch berries. This one is so, so good. Ooh, oh my gosh. I get the crunch berries and I get the espresso and I didn't think that they would go well together, but they go really well together. And then I also have strawberry pop tarts from Midnight Daydream. And it's strawberry buttercream, pie crust, and Danish butter cookies. This one wasn't as strong for me, um, on cold at least, so we'll see how it warms. Um, I have a couple from Dessa's, so Neverland Flight. I don't actually remember what the scent notes are in this one, but I think it's like cotton candy and lime and fizzy? I don't know, I could have just totally made that up, but it smells really good. It's really fruity, um, it's sweet. I definitely do get the lime, so I mean, I think that that's a note in there. And then, oh, this one's so good, Strawberry Garden. It's just a super fresh, super realistic strawberry scent. I really love that one. Um, another one that I like, wanna, was tempted to hoard, but um, you know, I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm going to enjoy it in the summer season. Uh, and not wait until like winter time and be like, oh man, I wish I, wish I melted that. Because I'm definitely a seasonal melter. From Teddy B's Strawberry Pound Cake, this is a sample I got in my last order. And now I'm just gonna kind of pull random things out of this bag so they might make no sense in the order. But Poolside from Rose Girls. This is Blackberry, Fluffy Towels, and Salty Sea Air. Uh, I have... Two little pieces of Florida Key Lime Pie from Rose Girls. My mom had gotten a bag of it and she gave me a couple pieces to try. Uh, Strange and Unusual from VCS. Um, creamy Marshmallow, Soft Sandalwood, and Smooth Patchouli. I don't know if this is meant to be a Lord of Mist Roll dupe, but it smells just like Lord of Mist Roll from Lush to me. So um, I pulled that one for when I'm tired of the fruity scents and want something else. Neon Moon from VCS, which is fresh citrus, juicy tangerine, and fizzy pops. I love, I love fizzy scents. That one's really good. I have quite a few now from Hayden Row. I'm getting confused, I think. I thought that it was August, I think, when I made this basket but it's July. I don't even know what month it is anymore, which is sad. Beach House from Hayden Row. This one to me smells more like masculine than anything else, but it's still pretty good. It'll be good for summer. Um, Chilled Sangria from Hayden Row. This is just really fruity and a little bit more of like a like a deeper fruity scent. It's not as like bright as say like Game Over from Rose Girls like I showed you before. So a little bit different. That might be like a nice evening fruity scent. Lime Cotton Candy from Hayden Row. The colors are super pretty in that one. This one, I don't know what happened to it. It looks melted in there. Sweet Dream from Hayden Row. I think this is like lollipops and raspberry and guava. Maybe I just made that up, but it's super fruity. It is super bright and fun. I really like that one. I have tea and cakes from Candy Panda. This is a chopped up bundt cake with a scent shot in there as well. I love tea and cakes. Maybe I'll try to mix that too. Because when I first got that, that was like one of my first scents I ever tried, like in wax at all. And I loved it and I didn't want to get rid of it. And now I'm realizing like I can get tea and cake scent like anywhere and they all smell the same. So I think I might try to blend that with some stuff maybe. I have Juliet is the Sun from VCS. This is Satsuma and Tangerine Sherbet topped with sweet whipped cream. These are like her Madeline melts. They're really cute. 
Um, this smells amazing. I love her citrusy scents. It smells really, really good. I've got a bunch of clamshells now. So I've got Goose Creek Blueberry Cheesecake. This one's really nice. It's super dark blue color. Oh, it's so good though. I mean, the blueberry is really strong, of course. It's not tart at all. It's really sweet and creamy. I have Beach Bound from Zape. This is Sunshine, Tan Lines, and Beach Vibes. I'm in love with this one. Oh my god, it smells just like, ooh, it's so pretty. It smells just like being at the beach. It smells like sunscreen. It smells like sand. I mean, it's amazing. I have Pink Sand from The Bathing Garden. I think this is maybe sunscreen and pink sugar. I could totally be wrong. But those are like kind of the notes that I'm getting. And also this one's so pretty too. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm gonna stand to melt this one and cut it apart. Uh, Blue Hawaiian Birthday from Southbound. This is Blue Hawaiian and Delicious Birthday Cake. This one smells amazing. And then also from Southbound, Seaside Treats, which is marshmallow frosted graham crackers and salty sea air with a touch of cotton candy. Um, and then I have a couple um, clamshells from Super Tarts as well. I have Lois, which is pistachio pudding, cotton candy, and strawberry donuts. I love this one. I mean, I love anything that's pistachio, mm, but it's so good. I definitely get the strawberry donuts too. And the cotton candy, I feel like I actually get that too. And that's like a... I feel like it's hard to capture cotton candy because it's such a light scent. I have also from Super Tarts Kryptonite, which is key lime, coconut, and suntan lotion. This is one of my favorite scents that I've gotten from her. It's, it's so good. I think, I mean, something about this blend reminds me of being at the shore. I don't know if it's the suntan lotion. I don't know if it's the coconut. I don't know what it is. But it's so, so good. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh. I came back, like, all these memories. Um, mouse ears from Super Tarts, which is iced lemonade and lollipops. I've already tried a cube of this. It's amazing. Um, I didn't want to use it up. Another one that I wanted to hoard, and I'm trying not to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to melt it, and I'm going to enjoy it, and it's going to be a beautiful July scent. <laughs> Bob from Super Tarts, which is shaving cream, coconut, beach florals, ocean air, and melon. This one's amazing. I get, I think, mostly like the ocean air and the shaving cream. It's really good. That'll be like a really nice like bathroom scent, I think, without being like too bathroomy, if that makes any sense. Um, I feel like a lot of times I'll just toss like my clean scents in the bathroom, but that one just has like something a little bit extra to it. And then the last clamshell is Super Tarts The Time Has Come, which is Ocean Breeze, Blue Hawaiian Daiquiri, and Agave Sea Salt. This is, I do miss her decorated clamshells. I know I've said this in another video, but again, I understand like, you know, why it just isn't working anymore and it's just too time consuming. Oh, this one's so good. It's such a different blue Hawaiian scent with that sea salt and the ocean breeze. It really makes it like fresh. It's a nice, really nice scent. And then I have quite a few samples that I want to want to get through. Um, I find that my samples, I just let them like pile up and pile up and I like, I just, I just never get through them. So I have Southbound Endless Summer, which is a blend of raspberry lychee sorbet, sun-kissed magnolia, and vanilla sandalwood. Um, dragon fruit poptail, which is dragon fruit slices, guava juice, bergamot, coconut, blossom syrup, jasmine petals, and gin. Sweet tea from Hayden Rowe. It's a really nice sweet tea scent. 
sea glass from Rainbow Melts. This is citrus, sea mist, driftwood, sandalwood, and musk. Also from Rainbow Melts, you're going to need a bigger boat, straw or sorry, sweet strawberries, and ocean breeze. This one, I mean, I love the Jaws reference on this one. Oh, and it smells so good. This was actually part of her like new customer sampler that I got months ago, and. I was saving that one specifically to melt in the summer. And then finally, um, from Closet Full of Wax, Candy Linen, which is cotton candy, blackberry cream, and clean cotton. I think I would have never thought to put these together for some reason. I don't know why, like it's not too outrageous, but it just smells so good. So this is my melting basket. Here it all is. I feel like it's quite ambitious perhaps but I've really been getting through a lot in the past few months again like I'm still still home so I'm really melting a lot each day and so I wanted to put enough in my melting basket that I like wouldn't get bored of certain scents and that I would just have enough variety and like enough stuff to get through that you know I wouldn't be done halfway through the month and then I'm like oh my god what do I do now so <laughs> Obviously, in that case, I could just pick more wax, but I wanted to, you know, have my plan of attack of what it is that I want to get done, and I feel pretty good about this. So, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.